What's going on, my tacticians? This is Imperator Davies, your fedora wearing retroam, coming to you live with a lovely interview with a lovely channel artist of mine. Her name is Pastel. How's it going, Pastel? Great. Nah, see, she's su she's such a sp such a well-spoken chap or not channel artist. I almost said chapter artist, but <laughs> in any case. What you can see on screen right now, well, you can't see it, Pastel, but you, you're probably looking at it right now. You're looking at, well, the audience is looking at Lycanrocks. Midday, Midnight, and the newest one released, or released by Nintendo, at, and officially by Nintendo, is Dusk Form Lycanroc. Oh my goodness, you are such a talkative person, Pastel. But in any case, my question is, you're on the, uh, I'm going to say you're on the side of the bench that doesn't exactly like the new Dusk form like a rock. I mean, you said, I believe you said it yourself at one point or so that they could have done a little bit more. I believe that's what a lot of people are saying. They could have done more with it. They could have done this, but it's, it's not that all different from midday, midnight form. So, why do you say that? I mean, personally, I love it. Why, why don't you like it? Well, all the new ideas they've been coming out with each and every game, uh, especially the Ash Ninja, I expected the design to be a bit more... It, it felt anticlimactic when I first saw it because it's basically a fused version between the midday and the midnight. I mean, that's why I like it, because it is a sort of fusion between both midday and midnight. I mean, it's neither midday, even though it has traits of midday, but it's also not midnight form, even though it does have the similar, does have some traits of midnight form. I mean, when you look at midday and midnight, I mean, one is obviously meant to be like representing the sun and so on, and the other one's supposed to be representing night and moon. But Dusk Form isn't that. It's neither sun nor moon. It's sort of that fa that phase between the two. I mean, that's at least that's what I'm thinking, and that's why it's got that sort of cool, coolish, warm, colory sort of th sensation. It's got, you know, it's got the. It's not exactly red, and it's not exactly like blue which is sort of similar the sort of colors basing on sun and moon orange reds and blues and purples it's sort of it's orange it's sort of that in between phase but what but what about you what what is that perhaps perhaps you're you can explain more why why you don't like it perhaps well i i like the colors i'm i'm a person who loves warm colors but i don't know i just i feel like with all the bigger designs that they have i sun and moon as if we're gonna discover a whole new world of uh new more new pokemon that haven't been discovered since uh new generations come out with new pokemon each time and the hype was real i was pretty excited for sun and moon to come out i loved all the new pokemon even the alolan forms because game freak changed them up so much but for Lycanroc, I didn't expect, I didn't even expect Lycanroc to be the most special Pokemon out of the bunch. I kind of expected maybe a different Pokemon. Alright, so perhaps, perhaps the reason why you don't, you didn't like it and perhaps the reason why other people didn't like it was because they were hyped for a new Pokemon, a new new breed of Pokemon, something that wasn't seen in Alola before, something not seen in previous generations. Instead, you get a new form of Lycanroc. I mean, and it doesn't doesn't look that different from the evolved forms of Rockruff, which are which we know as midday and midnight. But at the same time, I, this doesn't really, you know, kill my hype for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I mean, I'm still hyped. I mean, when I see this, all I can think is, how do I evolve it into Dusk form? I'm I mean, guessing it's going to have to be the same thing with uh, most Pokemon where you have to evolve them. Like Tri uh, Tyron, you have to evolve him during the day. So I'm guessing by maybe uh, dusk, which would be probably 12 p.m., you'd have to evolve him at a certain time in the game. 
mean, there, yeah, but yeah, I suppose that is true, but that does give you a very, very narrow window to actually evolve Rockruff into Dusk form. And something tells me that at the same time, that's not how it evolves into it. I mean, at least based on the tra at least based on what I saw, or at least I think people are talking about during the f during the uh, trailer, which this was, I mean, it wasn't much of a trailer really, but they were when in which we saw it. I mean, the person playing it, I don't know their name exactly, and probably can't even pronounce it properly. They were just playing. They were pl just playing Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, and then they turned on the game. And there's Rock, there's Rockruff in the team, and oh my goodness, it's already evolving into Dusk form. And that was pretty, that was pretty much it. So that kind of makes me think perhaps there's more to the mystery of Dusk form, and we even see Dusk form on the Pokemon uh, website now. I mean, if we go check it out, there's not much information, just saying that it's a new form. That and that's pretty yeah, much it. Yeah, I wouldn't. Ex I wouldn't expect them to give out a lot of information about the Pokemon. Besides, a lot of people are probably hyped for new stats. They're using like a rock a few times. I don't really like the stats of the form I've I've gotten. I've heard that midday is a bit more useful. Oh yes, midday definitely got the better end of the competitive deal, whereas midnight form didn't get that. Didn't seem to get that much. I mean. That's a, that's Release. a story for that's a story for another day. Uh, speaking of the news thing, we didn't get much news recently. I mean, back when Ultra not when Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, but when Sun and Moon were being, uh, you know, shown off and trailered and teased and such, we got we got teasers and trailers and new information like once a month or so, even twice a month, depending on depending on the month we were just getting previews and such about sun and moon up the wazoo but now now we're, well, we're now we're getting like it's like one drop in the sea and that's pretty much it we're only getting one drop and we're not getting anything else i think so do you think that this is why pokemon company is not telling us anything because Last time they did this, did all of that for us to to hype the new game. What happened? We pretty much figured out what the story was, and then one week before the game was officially released, we got the full game pirated by thousands of people, and it was a week before in advance, and people were even playing online before anyone else could because they had pirated the game early. So. Do you think that's probably why Nintendo is, you know, holding back so much information? Because, one, they don't want to hot over, you know, over give us too much about the story. And two, they want, uh, they want us to build as much hype on our own as, po as physically possible. Well, yeah, I heard about that. And they were already um, creating uh, something in... Um with hacking so i guess yeah they don't want to uh completely release mm -hmm. the game or the storyline too much this time maybe it's in the same setting and it's probably going to be most likely a same story run by different characters maybe di returning characters so we're basically maybe they want us to figure out the story by ourselves yeah and that's that's what i personally like about that i mean I don't mind a bit of news every now and then, just don't spoil the entire Dex for me before I even had the chance to play it. I mean, I pretty much saw the entire Dex before, you know, before the leak suddenly appeared, but that's just me. I like to be, I like a little surprise with my, with my story. I like to play through a game, not knowing what's going to happen, wondering what could poss what Pokemon I could possibly meet. Not saying, all right, I want this Pokemon, I want that Pokemon on my team, where do I meet this one, where do I meet that one, where do I find this one, where do I find that one. That's not how I want to do it. I want to go through the game, looking around, seeing what there is to see, and then picking my team as I go through the story. But that's just me, perhaps. I mean, what about what about you? I mean, do, seeing this new Lycanroc form, does this, uh, would this perhaps put you on the... I'm gonna be a little more patient and wait for more news before I see anything 
side of the book side of the story or what do you say well uh, knowing me i don't catch up on a lot of news so i'm probably as hyped as i am i can be patient and wait about uh wait for the storyline to come out for new releases new more news to come out um Moon storyline was pretty uh it was really good it, I felt as if I was in the game myself uh figuring I played for like three straight hours without being able to find a save button but that's just me <laughs> well in any case pastel I'm glad to have interviewed you for this beautiful for this beautiful interview I believe I just said that twice now but I'm glad I interviewed you about this new Lycanroc form. Personally, I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped for it. I said that twice now. I love it. It looks like a it's a blending of both of both sun and moon, which is, you know me, I like new forms of Pokemon. It doesn't matter if it's you know if it's like a bun if it's just another evolution to add to the evolution line. Personally, I'd love another evolution, but that's just me. Or if it's a completely brand new Pokemon. That's just me. So, well, I yeah. so I thank you for joining me, and I hope then maybe we can, you know, talk about something else in the future, in hindsight of other news. So, once again, thank you, Pastel, for joining me. I will see you around, Pastel, as will the tacticians. Too. Thank you for having me. All right, and I'm Imperator Davies. You are Fedora Warrior Ram, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.